Of course, as we've found out in the past, um, once you start writing new material, the danger is you end up with too much material and things can get a bit too bloated. Um, this was definitely the case with um, Goat Busters. And I said to Luke, look, listen, I don't care how many years, how many decades you've been working on this Farmyard Symphony for, there's no way this song's making on the album. Absolutely no way. So here I am at some goat sanctuary somewhere, um, recording some goat vocals for Luke's song. There's some barn or stable there, you can maybe hear them in the background. If I put the microphone closer. Yeah, that? Uh, right now. So, um, we'll see how we go. But, um, yeah, I've got the hat, so I'm sure none of you will notice I don't really work here. So here we get on. But how do you train that many goats to sing in tune? I mean, you, you go through shifts of eight or 24 of them and they're all fine. By the time you got up to 96, someone is out of tune. And I, I, I'm not used to working with this. So eventually, after about two weeks of recording those animals, we sent their multi-track tapes over to um, Stefan to his studio in Germany for him to record all the percussion tracks and all of the drums. Um, unfortunately, those tapes went missing in some bizarre gardening accident. <laughs> 